Jessica Lady Ada. Hello and welcome to a late Sunday evening post turkey soup. Jessica Lady Ada back and doing a little bit more hacking today. What's what is what was that video we just saw? Uh, that video was the free promotion that we're doing right now. Yes, what did they get? Uh, that's a good question. I'm glad you asked. They get pins. They get free shipping. They get feathers. Wow. You can get 15% off. There's a lot going on. Do they spend more and they get more? Spend more, get more. Okay. So you can get free pins and a free feather and free shipping. Mm -hmm. Wow. Amazing. Okay. Well, I'm taking a break from uh, yesterday's project. I was doing the Raspberry Pi arcade thingy. And I'll get back to that in a bit. But I wanted to... Um, I saw this blog post that I sent to you over the weekend, and I wanted to try it out. Someone had ported a, um, a Wemo, like the little outlet, the Belkin router outlet thingy. Yeah. They ported that code to the ESP8266 uses, I guess it's a, it uses um, UDP probably for, I know it does TCP and UDP, probably has a, it uses the UDP library to do uh, the Bonjour uh, zero, Conf DNS stuff, so it appears on the network, and um, and then TCP again, you know, has some basic web server type thing, where it can uh, take commands from, um, you know, a smart home device. And what I noticed was, it doesn't. Um, there's some authentication it doesn't have, so it doesn't actually appear in the Wemo app. Because I tried, I grabbed the Wemo app, but it didn't work. But it does work when you use one of these um, Alexa or Echo devices. Yeah. Here, watch this. Put it under the put it under the underhead. Okay. Echo. Weather. Echo. Weather. Currently in New York, it's 45 degrees with clear skies. Tonight, you can look for mostly clear skies with a low of 37 degrees. Okay, mm. so it's like a little little friendly. Yeah. Digital agent type thing, and. Um, What's neat is this does have support for Wemo, control, controlling Wemo and Philips Hue devices. Um, and again, like the Wemo, you can you can use the ESP8266 to fake being a Wemo device, and it doesn't work with the Belkin app. But um, the Alexa and Echo don't have whatever authentication technique that is. Although I didn't look into it deeply, it could be oh, there was a way to get it to in, onto the Wemo app, but I couldn't figure it out. Um, but if there is an authentication that Alexa doesn't care. It's just actually looking for anything that is compatible with that protocol. So luckily I didn't even have to write that much code. I basically just loaded up the demo and I wanted to just show how easy it is because it is really easy to do. It's actually harder to add the Philips Hue lighting via the um, Amazon app. Yeah. Um, that took me a while, but I got working. I mean, like it, when I uh, come home, I. I'm not going to say because I don't want the lights to go on, but I'll, I'll tell the lights to come on and off. And you I say, can, mm, yeah, on. I can have them okay. go to a different uh, percentage. Um, in fact, one of the things I'll do right now, I don't know if people can be able to tell in the background, okay. but I'll uh, try to do this right now. Get the lights to purple. Echo. Lights, 100%. And you might see in the background. Yeah, see the background and the lights is turned? Yeah, see? Isn't that nice? Ooh, nice. Yeah. Echo. Up. Oh. Mm. I interrupted Echo. Echo. Echo added to your shopping list. <laughs> <laughs> Echo. Remove Echo from shopping list. To clear your list or remove an item, visit the Alexa app. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so I okay. bought like five Echoes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Echo. Lights off. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's too bad. All right, so... But what if we want to not spend $85 for a light bulb and instead want to um, DIY our own? Like maybe we can just use NeoPixels or something or make our own bulb. So we can do that with an ESP. So let's go to the Compi. Um, this is the blog post. So I think we probably blogged on Adafruit as well. Um, it's by Tinkerman and, and this person uh, took the um, code. Basically there's, there existed some code that worked on um, like a Raspberry Pi, and then they ported it. I didn't even know that it was possible with a Raspberry Pi. It's pretty cool. But they ported it to um, the ESP8266. And uh, so there's a couple people who kind of did this and, and, and talked about it. And uh, basically just download their library. And then you have to download um, ESP Async UDP. As of 
November 27, 2016, at 10 p.m., the ESP8266 release candidate staging, as well as release, doesn't include um, the I uh, the IWP. Sorry, the what's the name of this file? LWIP uh, multicast UDP capability, which I guess is what I'm assuming it does the the no conf D, uh, zero conf DNS. Um, so what I had to do is actually had to uh, git clone the ESP8266 from um, the repository to get the most latest, latest, freshest code. So hopefully they'll do another spin soon because the code was added uh, in July, but it just somehow, I guess they haven't merged it in or something. I don't know. Anyways, so if you do that, though, um, you won't have any issues. And then this is, this is basically the example sketch. So... Um, Actually, uh, sorry. Right, 720. Yeah, 720. Okay. Well, hopefully the text is big enough people can read. Um, so the most, the basically you just install. Um, you run the ESP8266 Wi-Fi, and you also include the FOMO, which is WeMo, the fake WeMo, and then you set up your SSID password. And then it works basically with a callback. So this is just Wi-Fi setup. All this does is connect to your Wi-Fi. SSID, very simple. You can also use, there's uh, Wi-Fi helpers that, you know, it creates a new access point, you connect to it and you can set it up and do all that, whatever. And then I just made a callback and the callback takes a string and a state and just tells you, hey, this device state is now whatever it says. So this is what, this is the function that's called whenever a command comes in. So it's an asynchronous um, setup. Uh, and then in setup, we just, you know, serial begin, print out the information, set up the Wi-Fi, and then we can add as many devices as we want, which is actually kind of neat. So you can have one, you know, can, it can uh, respond to multiple requests, so you can have multiple names. So in this case, I created a device called Relay and a device called Pixels. And then I just tell it, hey, call back the call back. The loop doesn't do anything because, again, it's all callback based, a little bit more advanced, but kind of handy because, you know, in this case, um, we can just do all of our logic in this function. So let's upload that to our ESP8266 as well. All right. Give it a second. It's uploading. Okay, and then open up the serial console. Okay, so it's connected. So now you basically just say turn device name on or off. And the two devices I have are relay and pixels, so let's try it out. So can you go to the overhead? Okay. Um, okay, so now you can just say echo, turn pixels on. Okay. And then when you go back to the computer, it says pixels are on. So it, it determined. Then I can say, Alexa, sorry, Echo, turn relay on. Okay. And then you can see it said uh, turn relay on. So, okay, it's pretty straightforward, like very simple and easy to use. Um, you're just looking for that name and the value on and off. So then I made a slightly more complicated sketch, but not that much more complicated. Uh, in this case, I added uh, a relay pin definition, NeoPixel pin, it created a NeoPixel object, and NeoPixel state. And then in that callback, the Wi-Fi setup is the same. In the callback, um, if the device name is pixels, I change a variable true or false. And so in the loop, I'll actually look for that variable change. So that's a way of basically getting an interrupt to communicate with the loop. You basically set a volatile um, uh, variable. So I, I, I don't do actually any NeoPixel stuff here. NeoPixel stuff happens in the loop because I want that to swirl or change colors. But for real, I actually do just set the digital pin high and low here. I do a string compare, look to see if the device is relay. If it is, depending on the state, either turn it on, relay pin high, or turn it off, relay pin low. 
And then in setup, I just, you know, basically set up the brightness for the NeoPixel, set up the relay pin, turn it off, um, add those two devices. And then in the loop, I am, um, depending on the NeoPixel state, if the state is high or true, if it pixels are on, I, add, I do a, a color swirl. This is just a basic, you know, iterate through the pixels and swirl them different colors. And then if the state is off, I uh, turn all the pixels off. So set pixel color to zero, turn every pixel off. And then I'm going to um, use this handy doubler, which lets me plug in multiple things so I can have a relay like that and new pixels like that. Okay, and let's upload this. Yeah, that's actually just because I'm, I'm reusing the Woo. same pin. The, uh, I used pin two. If which only is also you used. could tell, I could have turned it off. Yeah, I will in a second. Uh, okay, so now. Okay, so now I'm connected, so I can say. Echo. Turn pixels on. Okay. Oh my god, that's so bright. Home. That's cool. So you can see it's it's. Pixelating. Yeah. But what if you what if you were you what if you didn't want to walk over to your desk and you wanted to turn it off? Actually I want to set the brightness to be not mind blowing. Let's set it to twenty, see if that helps. In the meanwhile I can say Echo, turn pixels off. Okay. And turns them off. Let me just re upload so it's not uh, crazy bright. Echo, turn pixels on. Okay. Okay, that's not so bad. So it does a little color swirl. So you can basically have it do your animations of design and then say, Echo, turn pixels off. Okay. Echo, turn relay on. Oh. Echo, turn relay on. Okay. Let me see the little. LED. Not too shabby. Relay. Echo. Turn relay off. Okay. So that's it. Very simple demo, but works very well. And of yeah. course, you can um, have this battery powered as well. So, you know, I had this connected kind of to USB, but I'll disconnect it and say, I can hold it up. Alexa. Sorry. Echo. <laughs> turn pixels on. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. So, this is the first example I've ever seen on video. I mean, this is the toughest part is remembering whether you have an Alexa or an Echo. Yeah, Alexa's like downstairs. Alexa's right. downstairs. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Freaking. Yeah, sorry. Why are you talking about me? Yeah, Echo. Me Echo. Turn pixels off. Okay. And it's pretty fast. Only about a second. Yeah. Goes space and back. Yeah. Okay. So that's the, that's the demo. I thought it would just be a fun, I'll do a little write up and put my sketch up in a tutorial because I think this is a, a cool enough thing people might want to build it. It's a very easy way to have home automation without having to deal with, and it's like transparent. If you already have an Echo or an Alexa, then you can, yeah. you don't have to worry about like weird authentication or buying a brand thing. It just seems yeah. to work. Like Amazon's giving these away practically. Okay, Yeah. Uh, here's a question. Yeah. Um, if I, if I read, if I read the blog post, will it eventually lead me to the RPI repo? I'd love to do a Python-based Alexa application. Um, it's it's called FOMO F A U X M O under Maker Musings. This is the Python script. So if you go, if you search G GitHub or just Google for FOMO, you'll you'll find it. But that's not what we're using. I'm using the ESP8266 version. Okay. All right, that's it. Okay. Sweet. Okay, well, everyone, um, don't forget to 
support your favorite live Internet of Things, ESP32 Hacker Show, um, Echo, Lights On. And uh, the thing that we can do is continue to do shows like this. The code is Ada Things. Okay. It's, uh, yeah, you're welcome. 15% off in the Adafruit store. And uh, that will go for a, a little bit longer, and we don't do 15% off. This is because we're doing the Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale. So um, if you haven't, pick up a kit or two, and it'll help us out quite a bit. Okay. Echo. Pixels on. I can't find theaters near you playing Pixels today. I think it's confused. You just say turn or set. Echo. Set Pixels on. Okay. okay. So I have lights on. I think that's because it's just a, it's a generic mm -hmm. command. Okay. But there's a device named something. All right. So people should go off and, and make their own feather Wemo devices. Fun. Okay. That's just the lady Thanks, y'all. Later. Bye-bye.